on a three-day battleground tour. President Trump arriving in Las Vegas late Saturday after chilly stops in the Midwest, a rally in Wisconsin. We win Wisconsin. We win the whole ball game. Another in Michigan. Nobody told me you're going to have 40 mile an hour winds today. The president taking on Michigan's Democratic governor, Gretchen Whitmer, after federal authorities foiled a plot to kidnap her. She stayed with her. And she blamed me. She blamed me. And our people were the ones that worked with her people. The crowd launched into chants of lock her up. And the president joined in. Lock them all up. Governor Whitmer responded. This is exactly the rhetoric that has put me, my family, and other government officials lives in danger. It needs to stop. Running behind in polls, the president tried to explain his standing with women voters. The fake news keeps saying that suburban women don't like me because they, I don't sound nice. I, I don't have time to be nice. Drawing thousands in Janesville, Wisconsin, as the state confronts a dramatic spike in COVID cases and hospitalizations. The president joked about his own recovery from COVID. I'll kiss those big, powerful men down there. I won't love it, but I'll kiss them. Joe Biden, who is headed to North Carolina today, but did not campaign Saturday, criticized the president's visit to Wisconsin and his handling of the pandemic. At virtually every turn, he has panicked and tried to wish it away rather than doing the hard work to get it under control. And today we will see something that is rare for the president on his schedule. He's expected to attend church services here in Las Vegas, then make a quick trip to Orange County, California for a high dollar fundraiser in the lunchtime hours and then back here to Nevada for his evening rally. Willie. All right, Kelly O'Donnell starting us off in Vegas this morning. Kelly, thanks so much.